my show is a multi-sensory experience um, which incorporates aroma, taste, touch and lighting and sound. A lot of the music that I've created is created from little filaments of my voice, um, from lyrics from things people have said, uh, from uh, sounds in the marketplace in Africa, from Ghana, and uh, these things have come together to create a beautiful soundscape which uh, creates the entire show and that kind of underpins the whole thing. And on top of that we're going to separate each of the senses and pair them with the music. We'll have a section of the show which will be about lighting and projection and so it will be about um, mixing beautiful images and um, kaleidoscopic images uh, with my music and pairing those together so that we can focus on sight and sound. The next part of the show will be about aromatherapy and pairing smells with my sounds and we're going to put that together and the last part very excitingly um, is about taste and touch and so one thing that I felt was a a universal thing is chocolate. I feel that everybody understands how fantastic it is to touch and to feel and discover these incredible small confections and so I found a company which happened to be run by a Ghanaian lady who is from Ghana but raised in East London just like me and so her experiences a lot of the things that she knows um, to be uh, a culture thing from Ghana to, to living in London. These things perfectly parallel my life and so it was a fantastic um, serendipitous uh, collaboration where we worked together and um, created something that we could pair with my music so we will also be enjoying that in the show. Other than seeing a lot of classical music and fantastic operas here, there are other fantastic teams working in St. Maltings and I happen to be a part of the learning and inclusion team working across the Suffolk County doing very incredible work there. But whilst I've been doing that, I've had plenty of opportunities to be in Snape and meet other members of staff. And in that, I met the open space team and they asked me if it was something I was interested in and I thought it was a fantastic opportunity. It meant I had a chance to develop myself as an artist um, in a completely open-minded context so I applied for my open space because I needed a place to try out some very outrageous ideas with the support of people who would give me the opportunity to bend and flex in time and in creativity so that I could achieve the things I couldn't properly do on my own.